pop in Tube Nation. I told you guys I would be back on Saturday and here I am. This is part two of the cruise vlog. If you guys haven't seen part one, what are you doing? This isn't gonna make any sense if you haven't seen that. And I know I just posted it like a few days ago, but go watch that first and then come back to this one or else you're not gonna understand how, how deep the drama that happens in this video, like how deep it runs. It's just not gonna make sense. And if you already watched part one, hello, welcome back. In the last video, we ended off on a pretty great note. We're running around with our friends. We're taking pictures. My crush on D is developing. <laughs> Caitlin and her cruise boyfriend, Brian, they're very solid right now. And everything just crashes and burns. <laughs> but what else is new? So everybody buckle up. This video is going to be an emotional roller coaster. So everybody just get ready. But before we get started, we do have a sponsor. So take it away, Sarah. Okay, huge shout out to today's sponsored Parade. You guys, Parade has changed my life and I'm not kidding. Ladies, you need to open up your ears and open up your eyes simultaneously. I hate wearing bras, all right? I've hated it since I was in middle school. They were so annoying. I literally cried with my mom <laughs> when I had to go buy one for the first time because it's just sensory overload. I hate the way it feels. They just feel so restrictive and tight. And if I was privileged and had a flat chest, I wouldn't wear one at all. But then I found out about Parade and you guys, I'm not even kidding. I have ordered some of these bras and it has been a game changer. I'm wearing one right now. <laughs> Honestly, I've been wearing this for like three days straight. I can't take it off. This one is the Dream Fit Triangle Bralette and the fabric is called Replay and that's their original fabric. And it feels like you're wearing nothing. It's super lightweight, it's super stretchy, super supportive, and it's cool to the touch, which feels really nice because I overheat all the time. So this is just like a very cool fabric. And the replay fabric is made from rescued materials, usually wasted in production processes. And you guys, it is the perfect fabric for like all day, everyday wear. And it's buttery soft. I'm not kidding, it's like creamy. It's so smooth, like I literally find myself just rubbing myself. It's just so nice to touch. I don't know. I can't stop. And the straps are adjustable, which is really nice. And I also love that there's no underwire on this one, but it also gives you a really nice shape and it looks really good under clothes. I like wearing this with like a cardigan over it or like an open jacket or like a sweater because since it's a bralette, it can be a little top. You know, you can dress it up, make it look really cute, or you can just wear it as an actual bra. And you guys, I was so obsessed with this bra that I got another one, the exact same type of bra, but just in this cool, funky color. I don't even know, it's like tie-dye. It's really nice. And look, you can like see the stretch. You guys feel it through my screen. You can feel the butteriness. I don't want to put it against my face, but it's so soft. And they have a bunch of different colors on the website. I'm going to get more because these are just so cute. I could honestly wear this to a music festival. I want you guys to experience the same comfort and joy that I feel on a daily basis by wearing these buttery bras. So make sure you guys scroll down to the description. Use my promo code BASCA40 for 40% off all site-wide, you will not regret it. But it doesn't apply to the 80% off sale, so yeah. Thank you so much, Parade, for sponsoring today's video. I wear you guys every day. Now let's get back into it. Okay, so this video is gonna cut right back into me talking. So yeah, let's just pick it right back up. So before we went to bed, Brian looks at me and Caitlin and he goes, you guys better come to my DJ set tomorrow. Like it would mean so much to me if you guys were there because we like established this beautiful friendship with Brian, like he was our guardian angel. So we were like, Brian, we will be there. We will be front row. This was his first set of the entire cruise. And he was just very adamant about it. And he kept being like, do you guys promise and we're like yes brian like relax what we wouldn't miss it for the world so his set was at three okay hey again i fucked up on the time i just said that he said that his set was at three but it was actually at five caitlin just reminded me right now i don't know why i said it was three it was five okay so me and caitlin were like we will be there at five not three Okay. We had reminders, we had alarms. We were prepared to be at his set at three the next day, okay? Me and Caitlin woke up early. We were getting ready for his set. We were so excited. We haven't even seen him DJ yet. I wonder what type of music he does. Like, this is gonna be so cool to see him like in his zone. And we get an elevator, we're going downstairs and we're walking towards his DJ set. 
my god, I'm gonna crack up. <laughs> And all of the sudden, he comes around the corner. And we like bump into Brian. And we were like, wait, what? Aren't you supposed to be on stage? And he was like, no, it just ended. With some sass. Like he said it with some sass. And we were like, what are you talking about? It's 2.55, you told us three. And he was like, it's 3.55 right now. And we were like, no, it's not. And we showed him our phones. It said 2.55 on our phones. And he goes, no, the time zone changed. You guys probably just like didn't update your settings because you guys completely missed my set. And I was looking for you guys in the crowd and you just weren't there. And that was pretty hurtful. And we were like, Oh my god, like, oh my god, Brian. Like, he was actually really upset about it. We felt so bad, but we were like, Brian, it wasn't our fault. Like, we didn't have service, and we weren't even thinking about, like, changing our settings, like, the time and stuff, because we didn't know exactly, like, when it was gonna cross over into different times. I don't know, like, our phones just didn't update, but a lot of people's didn't. That was a huge issue on the ship. Like, a lot of people missed their favorite sets because of that reason, so it wasn't it wasn't just us, but we could tell that Brian was pretty disappointed. Ah! And then he was like, nah, it's cool. Like, we're just gonna go back to the room for a little bit. And we were like, okay, love you, Brian. Him and his friends went back to his room and Caitlin was like, oh my God, my crew's boyfriend hates me. He hates me. I had one job and I was like, no, yeah, but like that wasn't our fault. Like we didn't know, like we were there. We were there when we thought that we needed to be there. So it was just so unfortunate that we missed it. After that interaction with him, we like felt really weird vibes. Like he was actually upset with us. And we were like, damn dude, did we just lose a friend? Like, are you and him breaking up? Like, what is going on? But then we were like, okay, whatever. We'll hang out with Brian later. It's really early. Yeah, the, ass the assorted cheese. <laughs> the, the cheese plate. Yep. Um, another macaroni and cheese. Yep, two but macaroni. two mac and cheeses. Oh, uh, and Prosecco. We'll take beer. Um, we'll have two Bud Lights. No, that's it. Okay, sounds good. All right, thank you. Just every single kind of cheese that they offer in various forms and multiples. Like I need every cheese thing that you offer and not just one, like I need two. Dude, oh my God, I'm still on the phone. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Still on the phone. I just heard her like breathing. I might still be on the phone still. Like I hope I'm not. And we have to start getting ready to go to dinner because <laughs> Yeti, love Yeti. He sends me and Caitlin a text and invites us to a big family dinner that he put on. Yeti, what are you talking about? Yeti, we just met you. This is so sweet. We were like, yes, Yeti, we will be there. And we show up to this restaurant and it's super fancy. And it's this giant table and Yeti is sitting at the head of the table and he just puts on a giant family dinner for the cruise friends and he paid for it. Like, what the hell? It was the sweetest thing ever. Oh my God, he's just the greatest. So then after the dinner, we're like trying to figure out what to do. We're trying to figure out like what set to go to. And me and Caitlin are feeling really anxious because because usually Brian is blowing up our phones being like, meet me here, meet me there. We're meeting here at this time. But Brian was not texting us. He was nowhere to be found. Um, so we were like, oh my God, Brian fucking hates us. Are you kidding me? 
like we were so distraught. We almost started crying when we got back up to our hotel room. Like we had such a great dinner with Yeti and like all of our friends. Ryan wasn't there. It was like a different group. We got back up to the room and we were just like, dude, damn that sucks because Brian was super cool. Then we get a text from one of our friends and he was like, hey, do you wanna, do you wanna come on stage with me and like watch me DJ? And we were like, sure. Even though we were in such like an anxious mood about Brian, we were like, let's just distract ourselves. Let's just watch our friend play right now. I was in the zone. I was on my DJ shit. I've been watching DJs all week. I was honestly inspired. I just put on my own little set for Caitlyn and we had our own little rave in the green room and we made some magic. We made some magic. <laughs> us trying to distract ourselves from Brian hating us, okay? This is the only way we knew how to cope with losing a friend and Caitlyn losing her cruise boyfriend. Like they were breaking up and it was just so overwhelming. <laughs> Go get a drink let's go back to like the dj artist lounge you know the forbidden space let's just see who's in there we walked over there still in a weird mood we both texted brian separately let's please not end it on this note this was the last night on the ship i can't leave this cruise ship knowing that brian hates us okay our anxious attachment styles were really crawling out of us <laughs> we go back into to the the lounge i just start calling him I just start calling Brian. Luckily he answered. And I was like, Brian, I'm so sorry. Like, I, you know I love you. Like, you know we didn't mean to miss your set. Don't do this to Caitlyn. She really misses you. I miss you. Like, can we just have one last great night? And he was like, no, totally. Like, I'm not mad at you guys. I'm just in bed. I'm calling it a night. I'm so drained. <sighs> 
what do you mean you're in bed? Get out of bed, it's the last night. And he was like, no, like I really just, really just wanna go to bed, I'm so sorry. And I was like, you suck, Brian, but like, no you don't, I love you. And Caitlin misses you, okay? Can we please see you tomorrow before we get off this ship? Because like, what? What do you mean? We're just leaving and we're never gonna see you again? Caitlin is devastated, like Caitlin is distraught. Like, why did you just break her heart, you know? <laughs> My crew's boyfriend is going to bed and you won't come out and come and make out with me one more time. I'm so serious. <laughs> we're missing you. <laughs> like that's what we're doing. Can you just you come ask for a little me bit? What I'm doing? We're missing you. I don't know. Do you hate us? <laughs> like what's the tea? Do you hate us? <laughs> Okay, whatever. So then, Caitlyn is just a mess. <laughs> like, she's just like, wow, I had such a great time with Brian. He has the nerve to just not even say goodbye to me before this cruise ends. Like, he can't even give me a hug goodbye. He can't even hang out with me on the last night. Like, couldn't even text me. Like, she was just so confused by the behavior and just really hurt by it. She just wanted to have like one last night with her cruise boyfriend and I was like, damn girl, like, Totally. And so she's distraught, and then I see D. The cutie that I had a crush on. So I was like, oh my god, like D just walked into the lounge. And I was like, oh my god, there's D. And immediately we like cling on to D and Yeti. And what did I call the other guy? Sean, I don't know. We just clung on to them. We were like, oh my God, thank God you guys are here. Me and D, I could literally not get away. I couldn't. Oh my God, Dee's energy was so infectious. Like me and him were like magnets all night. I could not get enough of Dee. His energy, just his personality, like everything about Dee, like I just wanted him by my side every second. And he felt the same way with me. Every single moment that I could, I was like holding him. <laughs> elevator we would just hold each other i was like okay this is my crew's boyfriend it's been d this whole time but it took the very last night for the both of us to just like have the courage to just like accept what it was like me and him loved each other okay we were attached at the hip we could not stop making out we could not stop holding hands what do you mean i'm frolicking around a cruise ship with d on the last night like literally giggling holding hands and like running around together and laughing we just could not stop kissing. What? But it was just so nice because I was like, dude, finally, like we broke that barrier. I was just obsessed with him. We went to Yeti and Dee's friends set and we were on stage with everybody. Me and Dee just kept making out on stage. Why? <laughs> Why am I making out with Dee on stage? Like I literally could not stop making out with him. What am I doing? Me and him were dancing together all night. Like even in the elevators with no music, I was dancing with him. Like, why are we dancing? Oh my God. And then after the DJ set, we went into the green room again. I don't know why. I can't stop making out with D. <laughs> Caitlin is heartbroken over Brian. <laughs> And she's watching me live my best life, just infatuated by D. He's literally sitting on top of me, like he's sitting on my lap. Caitlin was making out with a Jameson bottle because she was just heartbroken by Brian. <laughs> And she was getting so hammered because she was just sad. It was like the complete opposite vibes, me and Caitlyn. Like Caitlyn was devastated and I was on cloud nine. Dude, my crew's boyfriend just broke up with me. Which one is that, Domo? No. Oh, that's her crew's no, boyfriend. No, that's her crew's boyfriend. Okay, who's your crew's boyfriend? His name is Lee. His name was Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I can get you a new one, what do you want? <laughs> no, I, I just want a Lee. Is he a DJ? Yep. Which one? Um, He was wearing a backwards hat the whole week. That's so descriptive. I can't believe I just don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he's going to bed. Like, no. Come see me one more time. No. She's been calling him and begging him to come back out, and I'm really sad. I like really miss him already. It was that guy with the backwards hat. Oh. I know. Wait, is Sarah, have you met Roger? I just put the camera up and I was like.
like I'm going through a breakup right no, now. No, she is. It's like really tragic. No, I agree really that everyone has a shit boyfriend or girlfriend. I have a shit boyfriend too, and I'm not even into men, so I get it. <laughs> Sarah, baby, I love you, baby. That's my girlfriend. Her name's Sarah. I love you. I'm talking about Aaron. I'm talking about Aaron. I'm talking about Lee. <laughs> Yeah, the shit boyfriend breakup is very It's really weird. real. No, it's, it's like sad. I've had the no, same I'm like, shit I'm like sad and I'm gonna say year. bye to him. Like, he, he doesn't want to say bye. bye. Yeah. He's just going to, like, why do you, why do you want to go to bed on the last night? Like, it's the last night. Get up and kiss it's me. Oh, yeah. And kiss me. I've had the same shit boyfriend for three years. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. And it's a lot Wait, worse. Is one cruise for you? No. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, I'm freaking out with two guys right now. I missed Dawn. Um, where do you go? Wait, <laughs> your face is the <laughs> That's okay. I have nothing left to say. She's mourning. She's so mourning. I'm trying to lost my love. No, truly. And I'm going to call him again. Should I? Yeah. Hey, still missing you. Are you sure you don't want to make out one more time? Hey. Were you asleep? Were you asleep? Caitlin misses you. <laughs> like a lot. Pop the poopy like this. But, alright, I feel you. I feel you. You're not coming out. You want Caitlin to come see you? Ooh. photographs I have ever seen in my life. Oh my god, I don't even want to <laughs> I don't even want to <laughs> I don't even want to show you guys because these pictures are so intimate. What the fuck? It literally looks like an album cover or something. Like a 90s R&B album cover. Like what the fuck is that photo? It's way too intimate where it like makes me want to die because I'm like, "Sarah, what is this like where did this energy come from it just came out of nowhere just so funny and caitlin was caitlin was just being such a good sport this was my one night where i had a cruise boyfriend and caitlin didn't have one and caitlin was very gracious and she was like letting me have this but it was just so funny <laughs> caitlin was tired heartbroken and really hammered she was like sarah i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> stay and hang out with D and like all of our friends. And I was like, okay, sayonara. I'm gonna hang out with D some more. Cause I don't know if I'm ever gonna see him again. Am I ever gonna see him again? I don't know. I gotta make the most of this. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> God, look at behind you, behind you, please. Oh my! <laughs> There's goodness. people waiting. Oh, on us. I just, I just <laughs> There's we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Hey! Yo! Pat! 
Oh, you're right. Sounds Thank you. Good. Sounds good. Thank you. Hold <laughs> up, we got acrobatics. What? <laughs> we got some acrobatics. And then we went to the cafeteria. This is where it's getting blurry because like I don't really remember much. We went to the cafeteria with everybody. We got some food. He like got me a plate of food. He was like feeding me. I was feeding him. <laughs> what? We're like taking pictures in the cafeteria. Like what the fuck? Okay. But here's the kicker y'all. So we had to get off of the ship at 10 in the morning. We had to be packed and off the ship at 10. None of my shit was packed. And I spent the night in Dee's room. <sighs> I wake up, I felt like I got electrocuted because there's like a horn. <laughs> It's like a siren, a horn in every single room on the ship for like announcements and shit. And the horn just starts blaring in Dee's room. We just both got electrocuted. We like shoot out of bed and the siren just like kept going off. And then finally it was like this announcer being like, everybody needs to be off the ship right now. This is the final warning. It was like the final warning. And I was like, and me and Dee looked at each other and we were like, Oh. My. God. We're the last ones on the ship! Oh my god, and we looked at our phone. It's 10.45. We were supposed to be off the ship at 10. And we slept through our alarms. Dee's phone is dead. He had alarms set on his phone too, but his phone died. He forgot to plug it in, but I plugged mine in. But I guess my volume was down. So my alarm was going off, but it was really quiet. <laughs> so we slept through it. All I'm thinking about is like, oh my god, Caitlyn. Oh my god, she's gonna kill me. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm freaking out. I'm like having a fucking anxiety attack. Dee's trying to like help me get all my shit together. And I look at my phone, Caitlyn's like blowing at my phone like she called me a million times. I was like, oh my god, I suck. I felt so bad for Dee because I was like, that was fun. Love you so fucking much. And he was like, oh, okay just like that and i was like yeah i like have to go <laughs> like i have to pack my stuff i don't know where caitlin is i don't know what's going on the departure from d was just so funny because we were like okay bye what see ya and i just ran out the room i just ran out the room and he was like oh and he's like getting all his shit together because the siren is just blaring <laughs> like it won't stop and I was like, oh my God, I'm sprinting across this cruise ship. And I finally get to the hallway where our rooms are. And Caitlin is just sitting on the steps outside of the hallway. She's sitting on the steps with her two suitcases and my two suitcases. So she packed all my shit for me. And I literally almost started crying. I was like, Caitlin, I am so sorry. And she's like, it's okay. Don't worry about it. And we were like giggling. Like she wasn't pissed at me, thank God. Like she understood. And she was honestly really happy for me <laughs> that, I, like, that I got to have that moment with Dee because like, I just really wanted to have a night like that. And so she was really understanding, but she was like, I, mean, I just like threw all your shit. So like, sorry of everything. And I was like, no, thank you for doing that. Are you joking? Like you're literally the best. I owe you my life. Me and Caitlin get our suitcases. We go downstairs into the lobby. We're both just so like, like unwell, like we're both so hungover. Caitlin's heartbroken. <laughs> I'm so frazzled. I'm like sad that I had to leave D so abruptly. <laughs> like I wish that we had like a chill morning and like got to have a proper goodbye. And I was like sad, I'm like, damn, I'm never gonna see him again. And we get to the lobby and there's like this long ass line in the lobby. And the long ass line was to just get off of the ship. So we're in this line. Me and Caitlin are like laughing about the night. I'm like telling her about D. We're like laughing so hard. Mind you, this was a long ass line, okay? There were so many people in this lobby. It was chaotic as fuck. And I turn around 
around and I just see D by himself like looking so confused like trying to figure out where to go and like what line to go in and he was carrying all of his luggage too and he's a skateboarder so he had like all of his skate shit like he had so much stuff and he was just so discombobulated and me and Caitlin were cracking the fuck up we're like there's no way there's no way D's just right there like what the fuck do I say something what do I do and then me and D just made eye contact and he was like hey and me and Caitlin were like what's up and he was like can I stand in line with you guys <laughs> we were like sure sure D and I was like good to see you again and he was like totally but it wasn't even awkward at all we were just laughing about it so now i'm in line with the guy that i just hooked up with exiting the ship we are the last ones in line okay she's helping me um look up mad lady <laughs> Pack all my stuff for me. Pack all my stuff for me. The walk of shame. Even I'm feeling shame. Get up out of there. Lead the way. Oh my god. It's been a good ship. It has been a good ship. It's been a good ship. Really interesting ending. The last, the last night was truly a night to remember. We were 1942 out of Houston this I just woke up, but I'm ready to turn up again. This guy can't be stopped. I can be stopped, but I don't want to stop. You're so right. It's hot. I have to stop for a minute, just like I can see the day. My eyelash. <laughs> so that's how we rock in, like, we just, oh, we got time? We got time. I don't got time. I'm ready to Don't mind if I just... <laughs> don't mind if I just... Don't mind if I just... <laughs> We're just jealous. I'm just projecting. I'm just a hater, honestly. And then we get off the ship and it's just mayhem outside like hundreds of people thousands probably thousands of people trying to get a taxi it's like impossible to get an uber like it was just a nightmare we were just walking around me caitlin and d we were just walking around just like trying to get a taxi somewhere i don't know where the fuck d's going but me and caitlin we're just gonna stay at a hotel because we were so tired and hungover we were just gonna stay the night in miami and then leave the next morning to go home d just had nowhere to go like all all of his friends left hours ago. He didn't have anywhere to go. His phone was dead. <laughs> So he had no way to reach any of his friends. He was just so stressed out and it was so sad. He was like a little puppy and he was just like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know where to go. I don't know where I am. Me and Caitlin were like, just come with us to our hotel so you can charge your phone. And like, you can just hang out with us until your phone's charged and then you can meet up with your friends. He was like, are you sure? And we were like, yeah, it's totally fine. So then me, Caitlin and Dee just get in a taxi. Like, this is ridiculous, dude, at this point. <laughs> this is so out of I'm being dead ass, like, why are you... We need soup. But she's like, and we need laughing at me like she doesn't need that. No, but you're right. I didn't know that I needed that until you just said Oh, I know that. what I... I'm laying on Dee's lap. Like, literally, he's sitting next to me. I'm in the middle, and I'm literally just, like, laying on him. We're just holding each other in this taxi like what the fuck caitlin is cracking up she's like there's no fucking way they're like laying on each other right now and then we get to the hotel i paid for the hotel that night because caitlin packed all my shit up so that was the least i could do i was like don't worry girl you did the most for me this morning so this is me paying you back we get a hotel d's charging his phone he will not stop yapping like he he's a yapper but that's what i love about him because like me and him just like the banter is great but caitlin was feeling so sick and her social battery was at a negative five and she didn't want to talk to literally anybody that was just the most chaotic week of our fucking lives our bodies feel like shit we've talked non-stop for an entire week so she just had nothing in her she wasn't in the best mood and also because fucking brian didn't even text her that morning to say goodbye like didn't even plan to meet up with her to say goodbye like didn't text her at all 
And so she was really sad about that because he said the night before, like, uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys before we leave tomorrow. And he just never, never texted her. So she was just distraught about that. D just like talking, like he was just so excited. He's just a talker. So he was just talking a lot in the hotel room. I could just tell Caitlin was just like, oh my God, I like need silence. Oh my God. And Caitlin was like, I'm so fucking hungry. Like we need to get food. And so D was like, okay, let's just go get food. So then the three of us go across the street. We get some food. Caitlin is just not talking, which is so valid. I could tell D was really anxious and he was really confused because he felt really bad for tagging along with us because he had nowhere to go and his phone was dead. And he could tell that Caitlin was just like not in a good mood. So he was really anxious being like, oh my God, does she like hate me? And so I went to the notes app and I like wrote out, I was like, hey, um, Caitlin's just like not feeling well. This isn't about you. But once your phone is charged, like, can you go find your friends? Because she just really needs to be alone right now. I was like, oh my God, D, look at this picture of us. And like handed him the phone and he like read it. And he was like, oh yeah, that's such a great picture. And then he looks at him and he was like, totally. And I was like, thank you. So then we went back to the hotel room and then he grabbed his phone because it was charged at that point. And then he got all of his stuff, gave us a hug. Oh, D. And I watched him skateboard down the street. And it was sad, but it was bittersweet. That rhymed. And then me and Caitlin just went back into the room and we just laid there. And she just like needed to like debrief just with me and her. You know how that is. Like when you had just like a crazy week, you just need to like debrief with your girl. She just couldn't do that with D around. So we were just talking for a few hours and then we took a nap and then we woke up and then we got some ice cream. <laughs> This is so ridiculous. <laughs> I just desperately need this. <laughs> why did you just get a waffle cone? Because why would it? <laughs> Do you see how awesome this is gonna be once this is over? <laughs> yeah, it's so. Awesome. I have a vision, dude. I'm almost done e executing or exerting it. I'm not sure which word. <laughs> exerting. <laughs> I'm so not okay right now. <laughs> You're just spreading it along the sides. <laughs> Taking the time to carefully <laughs> insert. <laughs> Make my dream ice cream. <laughs> There's so much love and care. This is also like cheese and guava flavor. <laughs> Ew, cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's so good though. And then we got a text from Brian. Fucking Brian texted us in a group chat. It was so annoying. What did he say? Oh my God, I wanna read it. Okay, I have the texts. Oh yeah, okay. He texted us at 9 p.m. and goes, hi team, how's everybody feeling? Brian, we feel like shit. You just abandoned us. You were our safe space and you just complete like, oh my God. I was just messing with him and I said, we're still on the ship. And then he laughed. Caitlin said, we're at the main stage, where are you at? Obviously she's joking. He responds and goes, oh, I was just playing there an hour ago, but you missed it. So we're like, he's still salty. He's still salty that we missed his fucking DJ set. And that's why, ugh, that's why he's treating us this way. We were like, are you kidding me, Brian? That's why you just completely threw us away like garbage. And then Caitlin goes, wow, way to absolutely just destroy us in one text. And then he sent like a little emoji where he's like giggling, like one of these like, <laughs> And he goes, I kid, I kid, I still love you guys, dot, dot, dot. Had a great time hanging. Did you end up staying in Miami? And we were like, where was this energy? You could have sent that text to us last night or this morning so we didn't spiral with anxiety, but okay. And Caitlin's like, we'll never let an hour difference time zone tear us apart ever again. And then he asked us what hotel we were staying at. And then he wanted us to come over to his hotel and like hang out with him and his friends. And we were like, no, like, we don't feel good. We have to get up at like 4.30 in the morning for our flight. Like what the fuck, Brian? Why didn't you tell us earlier? So yeah, and then we never heard from Brian again. And Caitlin was really sad. Cause she liked Brian. I liked Brian. I liked Brian. 
he just got so sensitive. Like, damn, dude, we didn't mean to miss your set. But I understand how like that, that hurt his feelings because he just wanted us to see him do his thing. Whatever shit happens. Um, but yeah, and then next day we went back home. It's basically it. We had the best time. Still talked to D, love D. He was just the best. Everybody that we met on that ship was truly some of the best people I've met in my entire life. I can't even get over how genuine and how amazing those people are. And I just can't wait to see them next year. Ah, like it was so much fun. Everybody was so cool. And that was seriously one of the best weeks of my life. Truly. And I say that confidently. I've never experienced anything so crazy and fun and just, ugh. It's just so cool to be trapped on a ship with the same people for a week and just build such strong relationships and friendships with people. Like, it was great. And yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. Go on a cruise. Go on a fucking cruise. It's a good time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.